Hello, hello. I'm the official name raider. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today, we're looking at Capsicid and Skull Villain. I actually think this Pokemon is really, really cool, and one that I would have used on a team. Except for the fact that Paldea is so obsessed with redundant typing that I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to have two grass types on my team. This is realistically the kind of Pokemon you could only use if you pick the water starter, or just don't pick a starter at all. Because, like, its typing is cool and unique and I like it, and I want to use it on a team, but I don't want to have two fire types, or two grass types, and that's annoying. I like the idea of Carolina Reaper, just together as a nickname, because I think that sounds kind of nice. It sounds like a fucking football team, honestly. But it doesn't fit the character limit, so you'd have to, like, get rid of the E at the end and put, like, PR for it to fit. I also disagree. It doesn't have to be for a girl. Fuck you. You can put it on whatever the hell you want. But I like that idea of a name. I think that sounds kind of nice. Anthony Kiedis technically also doesn't fit, so this is one of those cases where it's like, it makes sense that you shortened it, but Anthony's just the name of some dumbass that you knew in high school. I can confirm. I knew a dumbass named Anthony. Red Hot Chili Peppers itself doesn't fit. You could put RHCP, I suppose. Or if you could think of a song that you think might fit based off them, that could work. The first one that comes to mind for whatever reason is Danny California. But I suppose Red Hot Chili Peppers is the kind of thing I should have expected to see, but for whatever reason didn't. I like that idea. It's just I feel like it needs some tuning for it to work. An alternative idea, but I don't think it's a good one, is you could also name it Flea after the bassist for Red Hot Chili Peppers, but Flea is a bug and it would kind of seem a little bit random. I'm only highlighting this one for the concept because I feel like it could kind of work in a tandem mouse situation where you could theoretically name it two names because two heads and that's something that wasn't even explored in like the Doduo episode because technically you could have done that for Doduo, given it two names, one for each head if you wanted to. You could, but I feel like it's going to be kind of thin with the character limits so if you want to go in that direction maybe take a look at the tandem mouse episode or something like plusilminen illumuse volbeat latios latias if you want to do that direction hell you could call it red and green hob and nero is actually kind of clever and literally what i was just talking about naming it two things but in a cheeky way and this one is literally that except it rolls off the tongue and it sounds like you're saying habanero so although i've already seen things like habanero ghost pepper carolina reaper which is literally just naming types of peppers this one feels actually kind of clever and the fact that it's the number one on ranker i actually feel like it feels like it belongs for a change most of the shit on ranker is dog shit as of late but that one i actually gotta give props to it's not bad Right below it, Spitfire. We see this quite frequently for Fire-type Pokemon. Again, I like the name Spitfire. I think it sounds nice. I just personally can't use it because Magmar's is a Spitfire Pokemon. And we have a rule on this channel where if it exists in-universe, you can't use it as a nickname. You can do whatever the fuck you want, but that's just not how this channel works. Mr. Heat sounds like the Walmart equivalent to Mr. Freeze. But I'm also trying to think because I feel like there's something with Heat in the name. And, like, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, Heat Man from Mega Man. But I'm like, surely there's something adjacent to that that you could get an inspiration from that exists. I just can't think of it. What? And then a couple below is Spyro, the purple dragon. Not sure why it's there for Skull Villain, but, yeah, maybe put that on a dragon Pokemon instead of the, the fucking Pepper one. Zuko, we see this very frequently, the Fire-type Pokemon. And I've kind of come to the realization recently that... Cerulege is the one that I feel fits Zuko best because fire, because ghost, because sword. So you can put Zuko on something else if you want to, but I'm going to stand that idea that I think that is the best choice for Zuko. Mushu is another dragon. Again, that's reinforcing the fact that Ranker, nine times out of ten, doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. They might have back in the day, but they've since declined in quality significantly. So you know, maybe put Mushu on a dragon. But all the way here at the bottom is Mira and Soul, which I'm only highlighting just for that dual name idea that we've talked about. Do I think it's strong? Not particularly, but just reinforcing that point in case this gives you an idea for maybe a better nickname. There you go. Okay, we've reached the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and just like hit forward real quick so you can see this last link because this last link is like 
interesting on a thematic basis, but literally nothing I felt was applicable. And then all the way up here at the top is the Skull Villain one, which was Goondila. Weendila. This one is buying it. I feel like this is Hayden on Twitter, which if that legitimately is, he has no business talking about how pros the nickname Pokemon considering the shit we've seen. Cock bug. Uh, that's just stats. Can you nickname traded Pokemon? This, this is where Ranker pulled some of their shit from. This was only one. And then we got those two. So that wasn't shit. Gonna be honest, so there was a really good Skullville nickname that we came across in the past that I did write down. Which I'm glad I did, because I actually thought we would have come across it again. But one that I saw in the past that I really liked was Sergeant Pepper. I thought that one was really clever. That one's based off the Beatles, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. I really like that idea. The other one I have written down, which if I'm honest, I'm not sure why it's written down, but it is. I have Brinstar written down. I don't quite remember the correlation, but it's there. I don't know if I thought that one up on my own or if someone else did, but I guess for whatever reason, I put that there. Comment suggestions we have. Why is that there? Edit your image using AI. I don't need to. Two-Face prediction. Two-Face would work. I personally have Two-Face on my giraffe rig because I felt like that kind of captured the idea, but I mean, technically, yeah, you could use that on other things. Polycephaly, the condition that causes humans and animals to be Siamese. I don't really have an opinion on that, but sure, different idea. Habanero. Well, we did see Habanero and other peppers just highlighted. Yep, that's it. All right. I did play around with a Skull Villain a little bit on my Ogre Pond quests. And again, I like Skull Villain. I think it's actually one of the cooler new Pokemon. And I didn't nickname it, but Sergeant Pepper is one that's really been sticking with me, so I might just stick with that one, because I just, I think that one's a real good one. I don't know if there's any other Pokemon I could compare this to or recommend you other videos for, so if you can think of something, good for you, because my dumbass can't. But otherwise, any other ideas and suggestions you have, feel free to put in the comments below. Give a thumbs up to the ones you think are good. Let us know what you'd use and recommend. We could come up with some different ideas and some different motifs. Right now, people are just naming different types of peppers or different types of salsas. Which, I mean, I'm not going to say you can't, but I am going to say that's comparable to looking at Houndoom and just naming different dog breeds. You can be a bit more creative with it. Sergeant Pepper's fucking creative. Get on that level.